Okay, I didn't get a job number to this yet, but Kelly had forwarded me an email from a guy named Chris Matthews, and uh, actually it was a phone call. Chris Matthews uh, from Redmond School of Glass. Uh, this is out here in Redmond. He needs two bollards put in, two four-inch bollards, and he gave me a map that shows... Um, where it's at so here's the address this is off of uh what is that 180th uh, avenue northeast 180th avenue northeast you come into the entrance right here and the first building here is the redmond school of glass you go behind the first building you drive back here and there are there's three bollards existing in this location and uh oops Sorry. So that's the approximate location of a 120-gallon LPG tank located behind Unit A104. He needs to put this tank in. It's like a propane tank. And he needs some ballers to protect it. So behind the building, you have a photo that kind of shows... He just copy and pasted this little photo of a tank right there. And then he needs two ballers to protect it. Right now, he says it's three feet from... The PSE area, and then um, supposed to be three feet away from the wall. But then I just read another email that he sent me that says uh, he needs it to be uh, four foot spacing, so that way he can get the uh, propane tank out if he needed to. So it's going to have to be four feet away from the wall, the uh, bollard, and then these will have to be spaced four feet apart. I'm imagining that. Um, this little three foot spacing here is no longer going to be the case. It's going to be a little different. For now, I just wanted to show you uh, what we're dealing with here. So, two four inch bollards. I think they're going to stick out about 36 uh, inches. This says 52 inches tall, but I think he's talking about the, uh, the tank. We're going to be looking at bollards that are about the same height. Regardless, for right now, this proposal is just to price out two four inch bollards so I came behind the building you got your first set of bollards here you got the second set of bollards right here and um, so he kind of marked in red where the potential bollards would go but that was I think assuming let's see here one two three yeah he might have it he might have it right right now he's got it about it's almost four foot spacing, but bottom line is we're going to have to cut, saw cut the asphalt like in a square or just take like a, a hammer, a roto hammer bar, a uh, jackhammer and uh, poke through the asphalt. Probably be easiest to get a little, couple saw cuts in there, pull a little plug out, dig down. Uh, we'll probably have to dig down about three feet, so we'll need at least a 12 inch uh, hole. 12 inch diameter hole for both of these okay so two four inch pipe bollards um they need to be they'll probably need to be seven uh seven foot pipes three foot in the ground four feet out of the ground okay two of them um <clears throat> four feet away from the wall and then four feet apart from each other okay so two pipe bollards here if we get the job we'll have him mark exactly where the pipes need to go okay um sounds like this job will have to go pretty soon so um and he'll probably want them in as soon as the tank goes in um it's very quiet in here so it's not like we're going to be interrupting anybody so we've got plenty of room to work here lots of space any other questions let me know uh, last thing is, is uh, let's put two bollard covers on top of these four inch pipes um and uh let's fill the uh make sure we fill the pipe with concrete as well just like they did on these any other questions let me know thanks